Hello. Hey, how you doing? No, I'm just, I'm in the middle of something right now. I'm just filming a video for my YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm still doing that. Uh -huh. No, I don't plan on changing my mind. Uh, I think it's going pretty well. I just hit 8,000 subscribers. Yeah, well, okay, well, I'll call you back. Yeah, no, I, I, I think I'll, I think I haven't given up on it yet because... I don't, I don't think I need a regular job just yet, whatever regular means. Not for sure. Uh -huh. Homeland Security does sound nice and everything, but, right. I just, you know, you know that thing in the back of my mind that tells me, like, oh, this is not right for me. <laughs> you don't, you don't get it? Okay. Alright. Talk soon. Hello. <laughs> so the funny part about that joke was that I actually had an Uber rider offer me a job. Or they didn't offer me a job, they just offered to give, you know, like offered an offer or if that makes any sense, like it was a it was a homeland security job. It was just one of those things. It's like when you know you're supposed to do something. I'm gonna sit here and be like, oh my god, YouTube is literally my calling, but it, it kind of is. It kind of is. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but um, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is my channel. My name is William Simpson, and some people call me Will. But, um, so I didn't want to come on here and like, with the country accent and all that. I just kind of like, you know, I'm a jokester or whatever, a prankster, yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I, um, a lot of this is like a joke. Like a lot of the things that I say are jokes. I'm actually surprised that that phone really does work. <laughs> like I found, literally, this is so funny. I found, it wasn't this at all. I'm sure you can tell the difference. I found this and it has like an aux cord and I was like, you know what? Let me try this out. Let me see if it works. Cause it looks like it works. And obviously, you know, it has the aux. I'm like, hmm, I don't know when or where I bought this, but there's even a volume button on the side. Oh my gosh, wow. Uh, I think that's the volume, yeah, it must be, whatever. Anyways, um, no, but that's the funny thing is like there was even somebody that like recently, you know, offered an offer. Like, you know, they probably, maybe they would have picked me out of some other people, you know what I mean? I don't know if they really needed anybody to work for them at the time, but they probably did since he was like, trying to get my information and I'm just an Uber driver, you know what I mean? I got a degree in information technology and um, so I have an AS, I have an AS, an associate in science um, with that, you know, in computers. I specialized in um, security and hardware and I got almost all A's um, for the most part. Um, the only thing I could not get was like science because I just it just didn't interest me um not that I didn't care about like the world around me but it's like I kind of didn't you know like it's like it's annoying to hear somebody talk about like blacks matter and like uh, I think that's what it's called you know like the matter that's like making the universe expand and like things like that so I, I retained some of the information but obviously like when you say things like that to a person like I don't know if you can relate to this it makes my mind go black completely because like I can't imagine anything outside of this realm that we all live in you know what I mean anyways it's kind of weird like that I guess for me whatever I don't know maybe it's not weird maybe that's totally normal welcome back to my channel um today I really wanted to say thanks uh, you know, I have an overwhelming sense of just wanting to be so grateful for all this and I, and I am grateful. Um, uh, but I want to really, really shout out to everybody involved and everyone that has been involved and to all the subscribers, um, a quadruple thank you. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. like I can't even say it enough. Um, you know, cause it really, it means a lot to me to know that I'm not talking to myself <laughs> as funny as that may sound. It's true. I really want to thank you guys for that because if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for you, I would be sitting in front of this ring light 
right now and a TV screen with my videos playing for the ad revenue in the background <laughs> and in this in this room in my spare bedroom right of my house which used to have a portrait of me and my friend on the wall which was cartoon like and it was supposed to be like Dora the Explorer and Bart Simpson so it was huge like on this whole entire wall or whatever now the whole thing is green <laughs> so I would be sitting here with my computer I would be sitting here talking to nothing I guess and I would be okay with that trust me I would but I would much rather there be people here that are actually listening and um, so that's that's fun obviously I knew this day would come because like here's the thing I made this video a while ago and it was just me just saying how I felt about you know because I, I constantly was hearing like oh you're doing this or you're doing that and da 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 you know and it made me think about the word delusion and obviously you know you hear that word all the time now on social media for some reason um, and it got a lot of views too. I think that's another thing. Like I think um, it probably started a trend or whatever. Just kidding. But uh, no, the whole video, the whole purpose of the video is me to try to say, you know, even though I am delusional, you can call it whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I'll, I'll call it delusion, right? Um, and it is. It most one hundred percent is. Like um, you know, whenever you have. 33 followers, you know, uh, when you're first starting off on something, um, I had 33 subs like in the beginning, you know, and I was lucky to have that. I had far less than that too. You know, I, I, I gained from zero, you know, and to have 33 was like a big number to me. But then now to have 8,000 is like a really big accomplishment, I would say, but also, um, like whenever I had started my podcast at the time, um, it was called False Narratives. Um, I no longer have that podcast. I deleted it, but I don't know if it's still up on Apple or not. I'm pretty sure I took everything down. I'm not quite sure, but, um, you can go try to look at it if you want to. It's not that big of a deal. It got so much attention. It was getting a lot of attention from all over the world. So, so a lot of the subscribers that I have that are from overseas are from that podcast and have even messaged me on Instagram and everything like that and it's been really nice you know what I mean to know that like those people actually cared enough to reach out like that you know what I mean and give me feedback or whatever it was um I even had one guy like go as far as like messaging me over and over and we finally like video chatted and he lived in like Africa or whatever speeding by all this I know that sounds crazy whatever speeding by all this I just want to say thanks thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you I don't know what else to say really like uh, you know like uh, obviously I would have ended up quitting if you know this didn't work out I guess but I just can't see myself being anywhere else like I know exactly where I'm supposed to be and it's right here so thank you guys for being a part of my journey and it's just gonna be up from here I mean you know as far as I'm concerned because my intentions have always been the same and it, and it stays the same to this day and the intention is to make someone smile my channel is not to like be so serious and I know like there's a couple videos that are very serious and aren't supposed to be a joke whatsoever but the thing about it is for the most part you know this is not all you know nothing is fun in games like not everything is all fun in games you know what I mean there's always going to be um, that serious part of life that everyone has to deal with and you know like I'm not like Will Ferrell you know what I mean like it's not constantly supposed to be a joke um, but it is at the same time you know what I mean it definitely is I troll people a lot too <laughs> I try I like to troll people I just recently very recently um, I post just a couple days ago I posted a video I did a collaboration with someone and I and it was me reacting to this video of this girl and she was saying whatever she was saying and I I go people will do anything for views but the video before that that I had posted was of me in a blonde wig like Harley Quinn like blue and pink ends like on each side and a and a pink bra and I'm like I don't even care what I said in that video at the end of the day like 
obviously that was for views like obviously that was for attention and uh, so it, it was like a kind of like a joke you know what I mean like it's dry humor I guess but you wouldn't get it unless you knew me I guess and the name of the channel is the Florida Panhandle because I had this idea right I was thinking about like Floribama Shore and I was thinking to myself like okay Floribama Shore sucked you know what I mean and like I don't know I just I always envisioned like cameras following me around and like meeting my family which is insane like they're crazy and like um You've met some of my family, like my Aunt Sheila. If you've been watching the videos, you'll see her in, like, the shorts. We've even done long-form videos together, too. But, like, my cousin Haley was in a, a couple of the videos as of recently. Um, I always en envisioned, like, cameras following us around or, like, you know, just, like, kind of like the Kardashians. You know what I mean? But way, way, way trashier. You know what I mean? <laughs> it would be really funny. But it, the truth is the Florida Panhandle is so complex. It's got a lot of different aspects to it. And I've been all over, uh, all over the Florida Panhandle, all over. I actually was born in Panama City. Um, my mom was in the military, though. So we ended up, um, when I was like five, turning six, we flew to South Korea for a year with my dad. And I went to school on base. But, of course, they asked her not to take her family with her. So... I lived off base um, in this second story apartment and I remember it had a view of South Korea in Osan and yeah, and yeah, say oh, that means hello, good morning or something like that and like consumida, I think that's how you say it, consumida, consumida, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know, that means goodbye, have a nice day I think, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, pretty sure. Anyways, yeah, we moved from there, and then we moved to Abilene, Texas, because she was stationed there for two years, and then we moved here, because she was retired from the Air Force at that point. And so, yeah, so I've been living here majority of my life in, the, in Florida, so I spent the first five years here, and then when we moved back, I was turning eight, so um, I've spent a good 22 years and I tell, in Ubers, I'm like, yeah, 15 years or 17 years. I'm like stuck in the 18-year-old mindset or something. <laughs> I don't even know anymore, but whatever. Um, I'm just kind of just starting out, really. In the past year, I've expanded. I mean, I hit a 1,000 subscribers at the beginning of this year. So then that's when my channel, because I also had four. You also, this is the part they don't tell you. The 4,000 watch time, I think they lowered it, but the 4,000 watch time hours... It was really hard to get. It was really hard to get. I was really pushing. Me and Madison, I remember we were pushing, 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 pushing to get to that number because the the problem wasn't that I couldn't get a 4,000 watch time hours. We, or I, didn't realize at the time that was 365 days. In, yeah, like you have to do it in 365 days in one year or else it starts to count down. You know what I mean? Like, like... So whatever day it was, you got this many views or whatever in the year before, around that same day, that goes off all of a sudden. And then I was watching it go down. I'm like, oh my fucking God, like, what am I going to do? Like, what am I going to do? Like, I was finally going to be in the program, you know what I mean? And, um, and I worked so hard on it, you know, and it just sucked to see it going down. And then I was like, oh, whatever. And right when I said what, right when I felt that, whatever is whenever um, the content that I was producing really did just pop off and then boom, 4,000 watch time hours, 1,000 subscribers. I remember I submitted my thing like right then and there and it was a long process. It took until the like mid, mid January, I would say, um, like January 19th. So it took, it, it took, it took some time. And even then, even whenever like, cause they had, I guess they had already, it said they, I can't imagine how long it takes for other people to get monetized because for me, it said that they had already pre-checked my channel or something like that. I can't really remember exactly what they said, but it was like they had pre-screened everything. They already said, okay, yeah, you're good to go. Like you, you've done it the right way because there's people, I guess, that don't. Um, and so, yeah, so January 19th is, was when I was able to be monetized, but... 
even then, I'm not quite sure if this was after the fact or before, but they had to like verify my address that, you know, they have to get all your information, social security number, all that stuff. They get all your information, you know, and when I say they had to like make sure where I lived, like they sent something in the mail to me and with a code and then I had to type it in and I don't know if that was on January 19th or if that was after, but I remember on January 19th is when I got the, okay, yeah, you're good to go. Like you're now monetized. And I obviously didn't even know what to do with that information. You know what I mean? Like, what do you even, you know what I mean? Like I, I didn't know, like, I don't have a manager. I don't have, I don't have a publicist. I don't have people around me. I don't, I don't have editors. That's for sure my own editor okay people oh, I'm my own editor I feel like that's the part of YouTube that's fun like you know like to put things together like in the way that it should be in your own eyes and your own vision but it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and if you're working outside of this oh my god congratulations you've done it but right now I'm in this era of like just being so appreciative like of everything that I have like and trying to make sure that I'm I'm able to get where I need to go and when I say that I mean that full like I'm getting chills saying it like oh let newer viewers know what they're getting into I couldn't tell you is the answer to that one I could not tell you what you're getting into I could just say I hope and pray that you um try to have an open mind when you're watching <laughs> Oh, okay, this is a good one. Why I think the channel will grow immensely. It already has. It already has grown immensely. That's why. Um, in one year's time, like I said, you know, I went from having a thousand subscribers at the end of, or, or excuse me, the beginning of this year to having 8,000 at the end. It's not the end just yet. So hopefully we can run it up to at least 10,000. But, you know, my goal here is 100K by the end of the year, and I'm sticking to that. I really am. We've got a good month, you guys. At least a good month and some days left. So I think I think it's accomplishable. I really do. I just don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. You know what I mean? Like I I, I can tell you right now that I'll put in the work. But it's it's so unpredictable. You know what I mean? There was times where I was, like I remember I got like twelve hundred subscribers within two weeks one time, but that was just because the algorithm, you know what I mean? The algorithm is so unpredictable and you just never know what's going to happen. So um yeah, that's a good one though, for sure. Yeah, no, I think it will grow immensely. No matter what the numbers are, at the end of the day it's going to grow more, for sure. Um but it just depends on the algorithm fingers crossed <laughs> I'm doing everything right now like I'm trying to I'm trying to you know abide by like what YouTube says to do in order to be advertiser friendly and everything like that because they really care about that and um, so I'm trying to do that and that's been the move okay and it's been working so yeah um, what to expect next well I think Just expect chaos for sure. I I have ideas in my mind all the time about what I want this channel to be. And I truly, truly have thus far been able to accomplish um, what those ideas are. And up until this point, it's been exactly how I wanted it executed. Except, I will say one thing, except the documentary series I was gonna do um, that's not happening so don't expect that but um, maybe in the future I would like to say in the future I, I held back so much in in that documentary series even the first part I held back a lot because it's just really kind of embarrassing the things that happened that I wanted to talk about you know even about myself but it was embarrassing it, you know about how I broke my leg and everything in that car accident it was not my best moment but it's a raw moment. I want you guys to understand who I am and as a person. So that's, of course, why I did that. And the name of the video is called, um, I believe it's called Near Death Experience. I believe that's what it's called. Um, don't quote me. Um, thank you, George Sheehy. Shout out to him. 
he's amazing you guys he's a really good artist um, that he's where I get all my shots from the beach like all those everything like I get all that from his house out there on Pensacola Beach so that's awesome thank you to him and thank you to Madison and thank you Nina and thank you everyone that has ever been in my videos you guys really are um, troopers <laughs> really though because like you know at the end of the day regardless if I talk to them or not like they were still there for me at that moment in time and like I really do appreciate that I could never thank you enough for that honestly so thank you um you know in the past year not only has this channel grown up to where it is today but I've grown up a lot too because a lot of things happened this year that I didn't expect to happen and um, I'm not going to say that it changed me for the better but I will say it changed me and I think I in a way matured me because I had never I'll be just honest with you I had never lost somebody that I loved in my life. My, even my own grandma died. I barely knew her, so I didn't cry. I might have shed a tear. I might have shed a tear, but I didn't know her. You know, it's different. But this person that I knew, I didn't just know. We were in a relationship and everything like that, and like, just so much leads up to what happened and it's scary to think about it because I genuinely like I'm so closed off to the idea of even being with anybody now like genuinely because of the not just because like it's scary but also because it makes me not trust anybody like that in that way you know because this person really gave me security in this world and I guess I shouldn't have allowed that like I should have just been in a relationship but no but everybody in a relationship regardless like that's why you get married and things like that you know what I'm saying like that that's the security of the, like a relationship you know what I mean you should of course you're supposed to feel secure but I guess I relied too much on that on that love or maybe I just was so in love that like I just could not fathom like what happened but he passed away And it, um, it's been hard to say the least. Uh, it's been hard. Okay. I've had to be strong by myself for the most part. And, um, that's not, I'm not going to cry about it. I'm so over crying. I cried and cried and cried, right? I'm done with that. I just, I thank God every day that I'm allowed to sit here and make these videos for you guys and that I'm allowed to express myself because a lot of people are not capable of even having the equipment that I have surrounding me right now, which is amazing equipment, um, really. Um, like thousands of dollars worth of equipment not the microphone the microphone's a cheapo microphone but it works pretty dang well doesn't it <laughs> yeah so anyways but the point of this video is not to like cry and all that stupid stuff I don't know anyways A special thank you to anyone that subscribed to this channel. A special thank you to anybody that has been involved in this channel. A special thank you to George Sheehy, um, Madison Winters especially, because um, she's really rode for me this past year. No matter what I threw in her way, like that girl's really like the things I have really put everyone through has been crazy in the past few years. Um, <laughs> because I'm just like psycho <laughs> but I mean you know that's how creative people are I guess I don't know <laughs> but
but thank you guys for 8,000 subscribers. It means the world to me. It really does. And and cheers to 8,000. Cheers to 8,000 more. And cheers to life in general and living and being alive and breathing. And that alone is a blessing, you guys. And to be able to see, to be able to hear, to be able to grasp a concept with our beautiful brains. It's wonderful. So, you know, if I... I guess I never answered the f other question, what to expect next. Expect there to be a lot more enjoyable content. You know what I mean? Just some enjoyable, funny, good old fashioned, you know, cowboy content. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all I want to do in the world is, is make some beautiful videos um, that help people. And that's truth, truth be told, exactly what I'm going to do, no matter what.